Hi Robin with OxyDry and today this is a, uh, a repeat job and I'll be doing this uh, master bedroom and I've got two other bedrooms just around the corner here a set of stairs and then there's a, a room up above the uh, a garage up there which I also am doing. Um, I've uh, been in this house probably uh, maybe half a dozen times or so doing this carpet and every time I come here it's a challenge. They've got a uh, golden retriever, and he sleeps here, and I don't know if the camera is picking it up very well, but it, it's just really quite black here. Uh, the very first time I saw the carpet, it was in an absolutely atrocious condition, and I really wasn't sure if I was going to be able to fix it, but I, I was able to do a, Well, they were thrilled with the results. They've been getting it steam cleaned. was not working well. It was resoiling so rapidly and taking a long time to dry and, you know, the usual problems. Um, but I was able to clean it. Um, it looked fantastic when I finished, stayed clean, and uh, I've been back ever since, at least once a year. Um, they really should be doing it more often. The doggy sleeps here, and I think along the bottom of the bed, too. I think they had two dogs before, now they're, they have one. But anyway, <clears throat> um, it, this is a nylon. Um, it is quite worn. The doggy has been, uh, you know, the doggy pa pads and claws working away at the carpet and it's a few years old now I think it's um I don't think it's 10 but it's I think it's about eight or eight or nine years old now anyway um I thought I'd record it because uh I'm doing it a bit different than I typically clean carpet uh as you can see I'm actually just connected up with my brush um because with this carpet because I did get a tremendous amount of junk out of the carpet by the way when I vacuumed I filled it up most of it came out of this room actually what a surprise. Yeah, a little sprout there. Um, anyway, uh, and there's a lot of dog hair coming up. Uh, golden retrievers are great shedders, of course. So um, I'm going to use the brush on this one. It'll pull up a lot more <clears throat> uh, uh, hair and whatnot. So that's my... Uh, newest brush it's a little more aggressive than my one I would normally use because it just because it's newer so but it is a soft very soft bristle brush so let's go for a uh, let's go for a little ride eh I'm going to uh, turn my valve there which gives me uh, both a perimeter ap application and a center feed <clears throat> the um, uh, advantage of my machine is that it is center feed, but sometimes I do want to have the solution um, dropping onto the pad or the brush uh, at the perimeter as well. And this is the, one of those cases because I want to make sure that the brush is uh, right on the perimeter is getting uh, the solution applying, which is how it normally would work on most shower feed rotaries. I did do a little pre-treatment, used my trigger sprayer, and I used all rug and I just misted it on, or trigger sprayed it on. Uh, I didn't saturate it, you don't need to. I'm using Nanomax, I increased the Nanomax mix to three ounces per gallon. Uh, I figured that that would be plenty for this particular job. <clears throat> Now, um, the brush will tend to get the carpet a little damper, or well, depending on how I use it, but it certainly can get the carpet wetter than if I was using a fiber pad. So when I'm using the brush, I'm generally not applying quite as much. Brush works extremely well, but I normally prefer a fiber pad because the fiber pad tends to almost cut through the um, soils and oils, particularly the uh, hog tear, but the brush will work really well too. I just usually prefer the fiber pad, but I don't know if you can see, but it's this carpet is really, all this black has come out already. And of course I am working away from my source of power 
so that I can avoid as much as possible having to push the uh, wire out of the way. I'm just going to go right down the wall here. And the uh, brush, by the way, actually flares out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it actually flares out and it just touches the baseboard. <laughs> so that is uh, really handy because it'll pull junk hairs and whatever right out of the edge of the baseboard. So that's where it's handy. Actually, when I'm doing a, a carpet, if there's a really dark edges, um, that's when I will often choose to use the brush because I can give it pre-treatment along the edging and then use the brush and uh, just kind of work my way down the wall you know, slowly and the brush will strip it out of there usually. So I'm, I'm applying pretty sparingly. You know, I can see that I'm getting the carpet wet. I can see it change color with the moisture and I, and I know after years of doing this pretty much how much to use. Don't want to overdo, that's for sure. Don't want to underdo either, of course. But I can, I can see what's happening on the carpet. I can see a little bit of, you see it went a little bit white right there. That's pretty much ex perfect, actually. So I've just covered the entire carpet. See, it's a little bit white there. That's the uh, Nanomex sort of frothing up a little bit from the uh, bristles, aerating the uh, solution on the carpet. <clears throat> Gonna kind of work my way down this this area right here a little bit because this is where the dog has been laying, and it's uh, pulling it out of there very easily. Carpet colors come right back already, and of course, because I've done it this way, I'm going to be putting an Iron Man on in a minute. Um, but basically what I've done, you could consider this to be the applying the pre-spray, only I've scrubbed it in. And then I'm going to go to the Iron Man, which will be the extraction step. So there's been a few minutes of dwell time already now. Seven minutes, I guess, about. This was an area, the area, particularly the first time I saw it, they were just black right in here. But it comes up beautiful every time. to open the door. <laughs> okay. I'll work my way right out there, I think. Okay. Now I'm going to come back here and then I'll disengage the brush. I'll show you the brush. This is the brush that was actually um, came with my machine. And I put this on here. The purpose for this is that because it's center feeds, it would normally come straight through here. So I put this deflector on here and it spins out and actually applies it right on this uh, perimeter right here. So it, it just spreads out the liquid solution a bit better. Now you can see the brush is actually a little bit grubby from uh, what it picked up there a little bit. But it's actually a really quite a fine brush. It's, it's, it's um, got a heavier, heavier bristle on the perimeter and then it's um, um, more flexible in here. And this is my newer one. So my the one I normally would use is actually a little bit shorter because they do wear out over time. But I've had them, the ball, well, had them for years. So I'll put that aside. And we'll uh, go for the Iron Man. 
No, I do expect I will feel the carpet. It's fairly wet. Wetter than I would normally find it, which is what I expect. And the bristles will uh, carry the moisture down a little bit more, uh, deeper into the carpet. Oh, You've got to be kidding me. My battery's going dead. Oh. My battery is just not lasting anymore. It's time for a new battery. So I'm going to have to sign off, I guess. <laughs> That's too bad. I was going to, wanted to show what the... Uh, I mean, it's going to look fantastic. I think you can see that. I'll just do this uh, side here. See if I can get this at least re uh, recorded and then... I can show you the, the first uh, pad. I expe expect to use uh, at least two pads or so on this room because I want to make sure I mop up, draw up as much of the oils, the doggy oils as I can. So that's my plan. Okay. Let's have a look. This is just, I mean, look at that. Look how, how, how filthy that is already. I mean, I just, what did I do, 50 square feet? <laughs> Which is exactly what I expected to see there. So I will be going through a few pads here. And uh, so I'm gonna have to let you go because I think my battery's gonna, bow, gonna go dead here. <laughs> but that's what I'm up to and that's uh, why I'm doing it this way on this particular carpet. So I'll let you go. Have a good day.